All right, so uh, everyone now voted for the people that voted for the Phoenix Suns. I'm going to feature them in this video, Henry and Jen. With Suns, please thank you. And uh, yeah, the Suns, they're an interesting team coming this offseason. Very young, just drafted Josh Jackson. So they're definitely on the rise. Maybe they can make a playoff push for next season. I wouldn't count them out at all by any means. But Suns, nope, banana only six. The Suns next, the Walking Dez and Tower Orion first do Suns. Please, sorry we had to do the Spurs first, but uh, the Suns right now, hope you all enjoyed. This video should be up in the morning, so uh, hope you all enjoy, and make sure to comment the next thing you guys want me to do. Leave a like if you do. What is up, YouTube, and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Predicting the Offseason series. We're so close to being done with this series, but we gotta get it done first before we can move on. And in the last video, uh, this is actually being recorded right after the Spurs offseason. So this is gonna go up like early tomorrow morning. So I uh, haven't really read the comments of Spurs offseason yet, but I left a pitch to you guys and I wanted you guys' opinion on it. I basically said that um, I was thinking about doing a rebuilding competition with you guys like every week or so or something like that it's just for this is for the future i don't know when we're going to start this but i just wanted you guys i just wanted your guys's personal opinions on it if you think it's a good idea or not and then like every week we'll start a rebuild process or a rebuilding competition you know i'll i explain it more in the spurs video so if you are interested in that and uh think a rebuilding competition would be fun make sure you go check down the spurs video and uh, if you haven't checked it out already, just let me know what you think on the Spurs video. And I guess you can comment here too if you want. It's just a rebuild competition that like can go down every week. And there will be some prizes and stuff. So just let me know what you think about it. That's all I'm trying to say. Um, but the Suns offseason is what we're focused on today. So, um, you know, the Suns, you know, have a very, very young team. And they drift, just drafted Josh Jackson, which is a great great fit for this team so happy for them that they got josh jackson so when i look at this team they got eric bledsoe tyler Ewis, brandon knight uh ronnie price uh devin booker barbosa elijah Millsap. okay um LeBron, barbosa and Millsap are free agents but they got josh jackson uh and tj warren solid small forwards there Derek jones jr alan williams uh which we're gonna try to look to resign marquise chris jared dudley going to try to get rid of him and then the center position is absolutely crap so um what we're gonna do in this video is try to upgrade the center position but in order to do that we need to trade away some certain players so um i think what i'm gonna try to do is just attach these players right away in the trade finder uh brandon knight tyson chandler just don't want any of these guys anymore gonna keep eric gonna keep eric bledsoe in this episode although i feel like that he's a Someone that could definitely be traded in the offseason, but I will keep him in here for now. Um, what I'm really trying to get out of this is a center. I really want a center. Um, like, Clippers, go ahead and offer me down. Like, Dwight Howard, nah, he just got traded. Uh, Ryan Anderson, Gorgie Dang, Pekovic. So, not really getting much out here. Uh, but, what could else would, could we get for these guys? Um, what else did we need? We needed a... We have shooting guards, obviously. Um, actually, no, we don't have a backup shooting guard for Devin Booker. Uh, so, okay, so maybe getting a backup shooting guard. Yeah, getting a backup shooting guard. So let's attach these guys back in the trade finder and get a backup shooting guard for Devin Booker. Although we could just sign one, so I guess we could just try to trade these guys for draft picks, maybe. Um, that could be a possibility. So, um, like Chicago's first pick. Robin Lopez. I don't want Robin Lopez from y'all, but if y'all give me like two twenty twenty tw two picks, they don't want to do that. Are you crazy? Uh, no, not happening. I'll attach Jared Dudley in this, and I'll give you a top five protected Heat pick though. And then what about that? They accept. So we got two first rounders from that. All right. So I think that's pretty bit of official trade for us. So. I guess we're going to go out and sign a backup shooting guard for Devin Booker and uh, try to get and try to sign Alan Williams back. Alex Lynn, he's just not panned out for what this team, I, I, I've i not heard much about him. I know he was a lottery pick, I think. Wasn't he a lottery pick? I'm pretty sure he was. Um, going to check that, actually. I'm pretty sure he was, though. Um, he was drafted, yeah, fifth in 2013. 
and his stats have just not been the best uh, for what the Suns wanted him for. So probably not going to bring him back, but I guess you never know, but probably not going to try to bring him back. Um, we're going to free agency, so point guard, so we got small forwards, which is fine, and we try to sign Allen Williams uh, back because Marquise Chris can run the four or Allen Williams can't. I don't care. I'm going to right away go for Allen Williams, bring him back, but for um, backup shooting guard, like a Huh, 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 huh. Jordan Crawford. Um, like, I feel like... Uh, huh. Tony Allen, JJ Redick. I feel like JJ Redick would be interesting off the bench for this team. Let's do that. Let's do JJ Redick off the bench for this team. Well, I'm going to do that. Allen Williams, get him too. So, um, okay, now we need a center. We need a center. Dragon Bender is not... Um, someone I like running the center position right now. Um, Nerlens Noel is the best center available. That's not good. That's not good at all. Um, not really liking that too much. But although I think Nerlens Noel could be a solid center for um, the Suns because they already do have a lot of scores. Eric Bledsoe, Devin Booker, Redick. Jo well, I guess Josh Jackson is not much of a scorer, but he can score the ball. TJ Warren. Yeah, so uh, I guess I'll offer Nerlens Noel a contract. And yes, I said this before and I'll say it again. Nerlens Noel is going to make this much money this offseason. He's going to get paid $20 million a year. As much as you think it's probably stupid he is, but he's going to. I can agree with you that it's stupid, but you know. Oh, Alex Lynn did accept, so we get Alex Lynn back. Yay, yeah, he can be a backup center. That's fine, whatever. Uh, player progression is well for us. Devin Booker goes up. So, nice young team with a, a veteran presence of J.J. Redick. I don't know how much sense that makes, but I just felt like it was uh, meant to be. I don't know why. Um, Auto-generate rookies, training camps. So let's uh, give throw untapped potential at uh, Marquise Chris. Where's Marquise Chris? A minus. And let's throw it at Tower Ulysses because he might be the future point guard um, for this team. How did Tyler Ulysses do for this team last season? Did he, like, ball out or something? No. Seven points per game. I don't know uh, when he started getting opportunities, but I feel like Bledsoe could be someone they trade eventually um, due to his health, um, and they could probably get something out of him. So I'm going to run a 10-man rotation, not 11. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so this is rotation. Eric Bledsoe, Devin Booker, Josh Jackson, Marquise Chris, and Nerlens Noel. TJ Warren, JJ Redick, Tyler Ulis, Allen Williams, and Alex Lynn. Just a young team all around, ready to progress and get better. Um, if we do trade anyone at the deadline, I feel like it might be Eric Bledsoe. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see what we want to do with this team. But other than that, we're going to go ahead and wait to the trade deadline and uh, see how this team is doing. So here we are in the playoffs, and we're facing the Oklahoma City Thunder in the first round, let's go ahead and look at the player stats for this season. Uh, Devin Booker with 18, Eric Bledsoe with 15, J TJ Warren 13, uh, Redick with 12, and Josh Jackson with 11, Marquise Chris with 10. So solid stat line uh, for all these guys. Uh, and we're facing the Oklahoma City Thunder. I'm going to go ahead and look at their player stats and look at their roster at the same time. Um, looking at the Thunder, uh, Russell Westbrook with 23, 9-9, nine, nine, close to a triple-double. Uh, Oladipo with 12 and his cancer with 12 Steven Adams with 10 and they have Gary Neal Taj Gibson Shelvin Mack and Terrence Ferguson so um, let's go ahead and uh, start in the playoffs all right so in the first round here we go let's get this started we are up 1-0 all right so they're they take okay let's get let's even it up though we do all right can we move on we up 3-2 and we move on to the second round and six beating the Oklahoma City Thunder. Now we're facing the Warriors if they, oh yeah, Kevin Durant is still on the Warriors because I saw him win MVP. So probably rest in peace to us. But if we win one game, I'd be very satisfied with that. 2-0, um, 3-0, win one. We don't, so we get swept. And the Timberwolves got swept by the Rockets. Are you kidding me? Um, seems like in the Spurs video too that the Rockets um, swept. Wow, and they beat the Warriors. Like, what? what is 2K on that the Rockets are so damn good in this game? Like, really? What the heck? All right, whatever. I mean, I can't argue with 
their stupid simulations whatever well uh leave a like if you guys did enjoy and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already i just checked earlier and we reached our 400 goal next 500 and then a thousand of course by the end of the summer but that's it for me guys this is crushables and i'm saying peace